it's the forerunner, it's the originator. For the longest time, the spike was the end zone celebration. Traditional, like a white shirt on a man, it never goes out of style. This is a national institution that's classic. Here comes the fun bunch. The fun bunch was really good. <laughs> If you're going to give me end zone celebrations, White Shoes Johnson was the best. His on-field performances are equaled only by his end zone curtain calls. Was there anything better than watching that guy bust off his thing? Hey, hey. I would probably describe the icky shuffle as a cross between the hokey pokey, the macarena, and the humpy dance. I would marry the icky shuffle. I guess icky was showing that he had quick feet and good feet. It was okay. It, was, it wasn't a white shoe, but it was all right. The Lambeau Leap is synonymous with the rebirth of the Packer organization. It's the Lambeau Leap. You talk about breaking down the walls between fans and player, I mean, that's it. Sharing that moment with the fans, that's as cool as it gets. Davis with the salute. And if you're a Bronco fan, feel free to salute him. Fans really got behind the, the mile high salute, and it really turned into something that really spread, not just in Colorado, but throughout the country. Who doesn't love the Dirty Bird? It was one of the best dances ever. The bird is the word. Caught the whole Falcon fan base. That's what it's all about. Real deal, prime time. The ultimate show of satisfaction. Like a white shirt on a man, it never goes out of style. All I want to know if you got your popcorn ripped. Steve Smith just changed the diaper on the football. I got to put this towel away. Sneaky diaper. He got in the end zone and started doing his rowing routine. Steve shoots the moon to the fans here in Green Bay. That is a disgusting act by Randy Moss. Now the ones that are really cool are the ones that can spike it over the goalpost. Got to give Gio his props. Makes great end zone celebrations. Owens did the Sharpie celebration with such swagger. I don't think anyone beats Chad Johnson. What happened was Joe Horn had a cellular phone hidden underneath the padding that goes around the goalpost. That's true athleticism. I love that. I knew that the world was never going to be the same, 